Do you ever have one of those moments in life when you make a decision and that decision ends up being one of the most important and best decisions of your life and then later on in life you can't help but say Alhamdulillah and thank Allah so much for letting this happen and for the fact that that one decision brought you where you are now? Yeah, this is one of those stories. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, it's Usman here. Now 2020, we're going through a bit of a pandemic here. It hasn't been the best of years, alhamdulillah, ala kulli hal. And in amongst everything that's going on, perhaps you right now in the journey that you're on in life or your journey towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, your spiritual development might have taken a bit of a hit this year. And that's completely understandable what's happened to many of us given everything that's going on. But if one thing's for sure, it's that in these times of uncertainty especially, but just generally throughout life that understanding yourself and your purpose in life and who you are in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, understanding who Allah is and what he wants from you, and the why behind what you're doing and your daily worship is a sure fire way to not just have sukoon and peace in your life, but have the confidence to navigate through life and be able to hit these challenges right in the face. Okay, that's a bit violent, but you understand what I'm saying. Now you might have this desire in you, this hunger to learn more about your religion and understand the why behind what you're doing to perfect your daily worship, but you're a bit confused, right? And I totally understand how you feel. Because again, just like maybe what you're going through, I understand social media is a crazy place, okay? Twitter debates happening, YouTube, which can sometimes be one big mess, comment section especially. Everyone online seems to be an expert of some sort. You're so confused with all the differences of opinion that you keep on seeing on different websites and you just can't make sense of it all. I know exactly how you feel. But there's a way to fix it and I want to show you or share with you a story of how I, alhamdulillah, fixed that and I'm still now on that journey of really understanding uh, more about this religion that I love deeply called Islam. So let's rewind about eight years, 2012-ish, um, I'm at university, I have left high school which was a place of, let's just say, not the most religious environment in the world, I might have had some bad habits and but finally I was like, Do you know what, I have to drop these bad habits once and for all and let's focus on uh, worshipping Allah, becoming a better Muslim, alright? So I'm ready, I'm pumped but I had absolutely no idea what I was doing. Now don't get me wrong, I had knowledge of Islam to some extent, my family taught me, I went to certain classes, but I wanted to take it to that next level and to be honest, I was really not satisfied with the ad hoc learning and cherry picking ideas from online and quite frankly, a lot of questions were still left unanswered for me. And that's when one day something happened and I believe that Allah brings these situations into our lives at the right moment for a reason. At the masjid I see a brother who's reading and very focused on reading these notes, this kind of cool looking workbook or course book which turns out to be the iSyllabus one year diploma in Islamic studies workbook. So I'm asking him and he's telling me about this course um, that's in English, it's in my city, happens only once per week and he is studying some pretty in-depth Islamic sciences here and you could just tell by looking at him that he knew what he was talking about, he was confident, he could answer questions, which got me really intrigued because that's kind of what I wanted but hey, I'm a full-time student at this time, um, I don't have much time on my hands but he's saying that that was achievable once per week. So of course intrigue got the best of me, I look into it, I sign up and then I attend the class and the beginning of what is the best thing that ever happened to me arguably in my life and especially in my journey towards learning more about my deen is my first class at iSyllabus. Wow. Walking into my first class, I mean immediately the, the atmosphere, it just hits you, the blessing in the air, the barakah that's there, the mix of people that are there, I mean students that are my age, older professionals, dentists, lawyers, doctors, engineers and even aunties and uncles as well. Everyone was there from all different walks of life and of course uh, the sheikh as well. 
And at that moment, it hits you that, wow, maybe I can actually do this. Maybe I don't have to dedicate hours every single day and sacrifice my studies or my work or travel across the world or learn complex Arabic yet. And I can still learn my religion in a way that is not just, you know, surface level, it's pretty deep. And this is when I discovered my love for the iSyllabus course. You see, when you take the iSyllabus course, you're not just taking any kind of Islamic studies course. This program has been put together with a lot of careful thought. If you combine two decades worth of experience of the shayukh who put this course together, and also a curriculum which takes from the best, from all the best curriculums around the most respected Islamic institutes around the world, and really packages it up in the English language, and even translates from texts that usually aren't in English and presents it to you in a format that is easily understandable, easily digestible, and in a curriculum that happens only once a week across the year. Mind blown. All of a sudden you have these immensely enriching and deep Islamic sciences at your disposal with teachers who know what they're talking about and they make that process of learning extremely fun. So from that moment, imagine how I felt, right? I was so excited. In fact, I took the diploma course two times, that's right, twice, and even eight years later, this year, inshallah, I'm enrolling again to take one of the higher up classes, inshallah. But imagine me going from having me asking my family and my friends about certain uh, concepts and questions and do's and don'ts about everyday worship in Islam to my family and my friends actually asking me because I ended up knowing a lot more than them, subhanAllah. And as many of you might know, I engage currently in an online podcast, a YouTube channel, I make Islamic videos like this and I would never have had the confidence and the know-how to do this or even public speak about Allah's deen without having learnt these principles that are taught in the I syllabus course. Now I know what you're thinking, guy with a beard, obviously he's a religious Muslim, right? But no, don't let that really get to you. You don't have to have any prerequisites to take this course. You don't have to know Arabic, you don't have to be your typical, whatever that even means, practicing Muslim. You don't even have to have started to wear the hijab yet or grow your beard or anything. This is a non-judgmental space where even if you barely know the ABCs or Alif Badas of your deen, at the end of this year, you will have such a solid foundation that your daily salah, your wudu, your income, how you pay zakat, your knowledge of hadith sciences, the Quran, etc. will become solid compared to what they were before. And that, that is priceless. And what's more is that now this course has become even more available. During this pandemic, of course, being in classes isn't as possible as before. And now the iSyllabus course is available online for you to take in the comfort of your own home. This level of Islamic knowledge at the click of a few buttons. Now that is just phenomenal, subhanAllah. So you owe it to yourself. There's no better time than right now than to click below and find out more, even if you just check it out. Learn about what's entailed. Tell your friends as well. Do it together if you have to. Um, and sign up for the class and embark on this journey, which will change you as a person, deepen your love for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and your relationship with your religion more than ever. And inshallah, be that first step that will change your life forever and hopefully in the future you can embark on more deeper journeys in this ocean of knowledge that is you know our islamic sciences now i understand that currently during this pandemic it can be a bit difficult to financially contribute to a course like this and that is why uh, myself and on behalf of the inspiration inshallah we are going to uh, sponsor one student and cover their entire fees, including purchasing their course workbook for this year of iSyllabus because we're that confident, we believe in this course so much. Our team have taken this course as well. We really want to help to um, benefit society and give back and the Muslim community needs Muslims who are confident 
and knowledgeable and even just the basics because that makes them a powerful force in the community not just for themselves and their family but society at large inshallah so what are you waiting for? Go ahead and look below for more details about how to sign up for the iSyllabus course and also more information about how you can apply for this scholarship. The Prophet wasallam taught us that one that steps out to seek the path of knowledge Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes the path to paradise easy for them. You owe it to yourself to embark on this journey and take that first step and Maybe one day, inshallah, we might even see each other in class. Until next time, I've been your brother Usman. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.